Starting as a roving correspondent in 1935, Ernest Taylor Pyle was an American journalist and icon. His articles about the world's faraway places brought Americans a view seldom seen. Before the world of instant messaging, social media, and global connectedness, Mr. Pyle, or Ernie as he liked to be called, wrote of adventures in America. Ernie's stories were of the common man. He followed the farmers of Indiana, the truck drivers of the Northwest, and even the fishermen of Alaska. That is, until the war began. Ernie took his road stories to the war, wanting to capture the daily living conditions and struggles of millions of service members. Ernie chose to embed himself within units, becoming the first combat correspondent. Capturing interviews of GIs on the front lines of Europe and Africa, he told the stories of America's brothers, fathers, and sons in intimate detail. Ever the champion of the service member, Ernie lobbied for extra pay for those in combat roles, and by 1944, Congress passed what was dubbed the Ernie Pyle Bill, guaranteeing a raise for all combat troops. His books, Here's Your War and Brave Men, were bestsellers, earning him a Pulitzer Prize in 1944, and distinguishing him as an ambassador for U.S. service members to their civilian counterparts through his brutal, honest, and personal coverage of America's fighting men. 1,400 ships get underway, and the invasion forces aboard cast worry aside for the moment and beat a tune out on the old squeeze box while Ernie Pyle left Watch as a fast-stepping jitterbug run up a little hot rug cutting for the biggest invasion fleet ever assembled in the Pacific. On the brink of physical exhaustion and near collapse, he accepted an assignment to cover the war in the Pacific. On April 18, 1945, he was taken down by machine gun fire on Iwo Jima, just off the coast of Okinawa. The Ernie Pyle Memorial has taken place for over 60 years. Service members, veterans, and government officials alike travel to Ernie Pyle's memorial site on Iwo Jima to pay tribute to a man who humanized the war in the Pacific. Uh, you know, remembering uh, what happened here during the Battle of Okinawa is uh, it's, it's a real privilege that we have being stationed here. Uh, and uh, a lot of people don't understand uh, how important Ernie Pyle was to telling that story. Okinawa. Uh, was almost the forgotten battle of World War II. And it was men like Ernie Pyle who made that uh, important to the American people. So I think it's, it's, it's worthy that we have a tribute to him on this day. I, I, I think that uh, Ernie Pyle is one of those uh, rare individuals uh, who is uh, self-effacing and modest enough that he probably wouldn't have wanted a memorial and wouldn't have wanted this kind of a ceremony. And it feels good to actually uh, be the one who's bringing this uh, to the, uh, the soldiers and the Marines. We have been coming out here for 61 years to honor the, the, the legacy of Ernie Pyle. It's something that I feel we're obligated to do. Ernie Pyle particularly uh, is uh, important to the history of uh, World War II. He covered uh, the war all the way from Africa, Europe, uh, to uh, the Pacific, and he did it because he wanted to, because he thought it was important to tell those stories. You know, the 77th Infantry referred to him as a buddy, and that's not a, a tribute that they give lightly. He was, uh, to them, he was one of their battle buddies. Uh, it's just he did so much for the military community, whether it be in Europe, North Africa, in Asian Pacific Theater, uh, he just, 
he cared and like very few people could. It's just why it's just such an honor to be able to come out here and do this. Uh, it's been an absolutely amazing experience to me and I wouldn't have traded it for the world. He cared about the military guy. And if you care that much about something, you should be honored. You should be revered. And you should never be forgotten. Reporting for High Sai Okinawa on MCCS-TV, I'm Gabriel Archer.